per action from Jean-Philippe and Tom with the choreographers in, in a commission situation? Do you check in with them or do, they, do you just kind of let them go off and pray for the best? Both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. It really is, we really try to let the choreographers do what they do and so we don't often impose music or any designers or, mm -hmm. you know, we usually try to let them come up with it. But once they get to, um, once they get to the rehearsal room, we talk about um, how many dancers they want to use, where the piece might be in the program. Um, but it really depends on the choreographer. We have a different relationship with each choreographer. Some of them, um, you know, don't like as much input. Some love the input. Yes. Um, so it's really just depending on the choreographer. If we wanted to choreograph, we could do it ourselves. <laughs> so the idea of bringing somebody is to really give them uh, the best tool and the best situation for them to do a great ballet. Uh, most of them uh, enjoy coming to Aspen. It's uh, very much like here, very remote. Uh, no critics, no reviews on opening day. Mm -hmm. um, no traffic, no, um, you know, a lot of heavy schedule. Uh, we wouldn't bring a choreographer, the dancers are at his or her disposition the entire day. There's no other works being done at the same time. They don't have to share dancers with another choreographer. So it's a very unusual, um, you know, setup. And That's very unusual. Um, in, in most companies, a choreographer will come in, and there'll be two other choreographers there at the same time working. Sometimes they'll only have an hour a day or two hours a day. They won't have their complete cast. And mm -hmm. so we really Your try Mailo, not to do that. Your Mailo, when I interviewed him recently, he said that he had a hard time at ABT because, you know, his dancers were being yanked out, you know, yeah, they're in Swan Lake whatever. And, yeah. Yes, exactly. I think uh, maybe two, let's do two more. <laughs> um, I keep going in the middle. So wh what about way up there? Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Beautiful question. And I have, I'm, I'm, it's my task to repeat it. <laughs> <laughs> With the accent. The, the, yes, the, he noted that the, that the program was very you, consistent or coherent. And, and you said that they are three different choreographers, but a style, a full style of company, even with the differences of the three dances, did come through. And then you said, is that from the top down that the choreographers are working from, or, or the dancers, uh, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> First of all, thank you, because really that's what we try to do, and so for you to get that is really great. Um, most people don't get that. They don't know what it is about the company, but um, that's something we really strive for. What we actually try to do is be a blank slate for the choreographer. We um, try to have dancers that are unaffected. They don't have, you know, any particular style. Um, so a, a choreographer can come in and create, um, the dancers have to um, adapt to the choreographer's style. So in essence, the choreographer comes in and has a blank slate to deal with. But it takes a very long time to, to see what you saw tonight. Um, some of our dancers have been with us for 15 years, 13 years, 8 mm -hmm. years. So mm -hmm. we've been very fortunate to have yeah. a very loyal group of dancers. Um, choreographers like Yoma Elo have worked with the same people for four different ballets. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really the choreographers that put their imprint on the company and, and, and you know, made the, the style of the Aspen Santa Fe Ballet. Yes. Uh, madam, in the front. I understand that both of you teach classes, you teach the classes, and if that's the case, I'm curious what the company classes are like. Do you, uh, do you teach ballet, your ballet classes, or what modern techniques do you use? The dancers seem to be so versatile, and they also seem to be extremely well trained. The dancers are so well trained, they're so versatile, and she's asking what kind of, what are they studying, what kind of, and what kind of classes are, are these two gentlemen teaching? It's trade secret. <laughs> trade secret. Trade secret. Trade secret. <laughs> well, the dancers are all classically trained. Uh, the women actually dance on point. We didn't tonight, but they're able to, and we do um, dance on point in some of our rep. Um, most of the dancers have also studied many different kinds of dance, modern and some jazz, or um, they also do cross-training, yoga, and things like that. But every morning we do a ballet class, and we've always done 
a ballet class. We don't do any kind of a modern class or anything like that. So we really do a very um, simple ballet class. Like I said, we really try to keep their technique simple so that the choreographer can come and work from that. When you have a repertoire as diverse and varied and quirky, you know, at some time, um, it's very important to give the choreographer dancers that, have, um, that are honest uh, and affected uh, and then the choreographer could mold them into what they want. But um, we try to have to give them the purest instrument as possible, uh, and then they could build from there. But if we were taking the, doing the class like they do on stage, it would be yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. But we, we, have, we also do a lot of cross-training and yoga and a lot. Well, on that note, Jean-Philippe Maletti and Tom Mossbrucker, we wish you happy anniversary 15 years, many Thank more. You. Thank 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 you. Thank